Well, hello, back again for another video today. Um, as you saw my last shave video, we are doing another one today, of course. Well, by today, I mean tonight. It is late, I just got back from the gym, so if I do shake in this video, I apologize. Um, and ahead of advance. Um, so today, we're gonna be doing an Old Spice shave today, a vintage Old Spice shave today, and the reason why I'm doing that is because, well, I received this in the mail today, and this is an awesome decanter. Uh, this is the um, Admiral's flask decanter. This is about, I think, seven to seven and a half ounces, I believe. And this one is a 1980s version of this one. Um, we have, it's a glass bottle, um, metal cap, surprisingly. And then the juice. The juice in this is absolutely amazing. It smells perfect. I think some of it has to do with um, the age of it. Um, there's older, older bottles out there of Old Spice, and then there's the newer bottles out there, and this one happens to be an 80s bottle, so it's one of the newer bottles of, of the vintage uh, Old Spice, and so, plus we got a double seal on this one, you got this main cap here, and you got this one here that really holds the fragrance in, so, yeah, I mean, this fragrance is super strong, um, everybody knows Old Spice, the vintage, at least, if you're older than 40, uh, <laughs> at least, I'm... 17 nearly 18 so i guess i'm below that category when it comes to shaves and all of that so let me go ahead and get started and show you off what we got here so we have the shave soap this one is not the last version of the shave soap this mug um, i believe this is the second to the last uh produced of these i think these were produced in the 60s and 70s then you had the 80s and 90s were the last bottles of um, not bottles but mugs of the soap Smells amazing still, um, even after all these years. And then we're gonna follow up that shave at the end with a 60s or 70s, anywhere between the 60s and 70s, I believe, uh, bottle of a shave of Old Spice Vintage. And we're gonna be using a 1956 Gillette Blue Tip B2, second quarter of the year. And then our brush, we have that soap soaking here. It's the chrome brush synthetic knot. Thought it matched well with that um, decanter, I think personally, because they're both chrome. So let's go get the shave started. Didn't bloom the stove, probably should have. In fact, I might go ahead and bloom that real quick. Man, this stuff smells amazing. I never use this that much. I don't really use it, so. I mean, I use it every now and then, but not that often. Just because of the age, and this soap is expensive on eBay, I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, just pour that water out. I like, I should have used it as a pre-shave. But I didn't. I just took a shower, so my face is, the hairs on there are not so stiff. They're softened up and ready. All right, um, get these bristles wet here on the ends, and we'll build up a lather, and I've got my bowl ready, because I'm gonna do a bowl of lather today. Sometimes I'll do a face lather with this soap, sometimes I won't. Depends on my mood. And when it comes to lathering this stuff, it is absolutely easy to lather, even after 40 more or more years. The slickness on this soap is absolutely amazing. Oh yeah, it's got that old spice scent too. Classic. Can't. Beat that scent. So how was your weekend guys? Um, I haven't posted in a little while, I know. It is uh, a Tuesday for me. As I'm filming this video. Not too often I use the soap, man. Oh, it's such a good soap, though. So good. All right, let's go ahead and build a ladder.
hoping this is very slick. I think I got enough water in this one. You don't have to add a whole lot of water to this soap. It is a already um, super slick. So if you add too much water, it gets runny. I should have. Let me rub that in. Oh man, and it's on the ear. Got about four days worth of growth, so we're gonna be doing a three passer. Man, is that slick on my hands. Look at that. Super, super slick. All right, go ahead and start lathering this up. It does not dissipate on my skin. I've never had dissipation issues. If anything, it's a little bit thin sometimes, but sometimes I like it thin lather. And if I want it thick, just use a little bit more water. But I can't complain about it, even if it is thin. Sometimes. Super, super thick lather. I'm gonna get the mustache for this one today. The shave video I posted, I didn't do a, um, I didn't cut the mustache, I went around that. But I got tired of the mustache, so I shaved it. So I've been shaving it ever since because I don't want that growing back for a while. Look at that. Awesome lather. Super, super thick, and it's gonna be super slick, so. Let's get this shape set. First pass with the grain. Right, let me wet this with a cold blade. I want to say this is the Wilkinson's or blade I put in here. Don't remember. I got caught up in doing what I was doing, but it's cutting through it like like nothing. So slick, love that. Sorry if my shaves are really quiet sometimes. I like to just, it's weird. I like to sit there and listen to the blade cut. It's just super satisfying. But if I'm not too talkative and y'all want some commentary, comment down in the video, or not video, but comment section on this video. And I'll try to But if you're watching from the shape, then welcome. Last time I got myself, I got myself in the corner right here. Um, I forgot how I did it, but it's healed up. So that's a good thing. Go get 
against the grain here. It's hard to get her up here without. There we go. Very nice. The residual slipness is insane. Four years, if not more. And it's look like it's brand new. I'm sure, I mean, I have to think it's lost some slickness, so if it has, I can only imagine how slick it was four years ago, brand new. Oh man, that'd be crazy to think about, honestly. If anything, it's probably lost the density because it is a little bit thin, but that's not a bad thing because I like thin leathers if I don't have a lot of growth. If I have a lot, I like a thick leather, but four days of growth, I don't need anything super thick, for me at least. All depends on your beard growth. size bit that's much better not knocking my um what I'm about to say I'm not about to knock the artisan um, soap makers out there but this is better slickness than most of those artisans out there Especially Sterling, they are known for their slickness, and I absolutely love their slickness, but this is better. Okay. That's good enough. I always get it on my nose, and I don't know why. Um, let's see here. Let me wash out this mug real quick. Sorry. screen here, pass number two. Weird bring that blade across your um, nose there with the mustaches because I don't do that a whole lot. Might as well get used to it now because I'm going to be doing that a lot more. Oh yeah, super, super smooth. That's another thing I like. This is a nice razor and using the right blade, like a Wilkinson sword blade. You get a really nice shave. Well, 
したらAll right, let's go ahead and whip this up. We're gonna be doing against the grain on this one. This is my last pass. is I only do this with this one soap because I don't like to waste it. I'm gonna bring the soap out because it never goes to waste. Just start painting it. Oops, I almost slipped out of my hand. That slickness. See knurling on a brush, use its own razors. Okay, that is very dense and thick and very slick. So, this is the last pass. Gonna go ahead and I brush soak, get rid of all that excess soak, and then get this on. Last pass. Oh, yeah. A lot of feedback on that. I don't remember but this off of family has told me grandfather used to wear old spice back in the day uh, back in the 60s and 70s of course I wouldn't know Never really, I mean, he was alive when I was born and all that, you know, I think he died when I was like six or five, but never really noticed if he wore that or not. Was 
is kind of like a tribute to him, I guess. Very smooth. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Okay, enough of that. Let's go ahead and wash my face off. Oh man, that's super slick. I love that soap. Oh. Too bad soap isn't made like it used to when it comes to shave soaps. No, oh. if only Old Spice could. Start making another soap like that again. Really would appreciate it. This is some good stuff, and it's not too often I use mean, this because of how expensive and well rare it is to find these. A lot more common to find the aftershaves than anything. Um, but uh, yeah, um, this was an awesome shave. All right, so aftershave—that's the best part, right? Getting low on this. Oh yeah, nice burn. Super medicated feel. Mm -hmm. That was a close shave too. Okay, and the good thing I like about the soap versus, I mean not soap, but aftershave, most aftershaves that are alcohol will tend to drive your skin out, but not this one, this almost leaves you with a moisturized feel, and when you combine it with the shave soap, you really don't have to worry about that, having dry skin, because that shave soap slickness lasts for hours, the whole entire day, even after you're finished shaving. Alright guys, just to recap on everything, we have the Old Spice Shave Soap here, the aftershave. And then our brush, of course, it's soaking in water. I'm not going to pull that up. And then our 1956 Gillette Blue Tip. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. Uh, I'll post more out there soon, hopefully. Thank you guys for watching.